Hey you folks, Quillic here and welcome to some more Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. It is the 18th of Malachite, midsummer of the year 52. We didn't let any time pass between episodes this time. We do want to look at a dwarf and I think we might have to take a look at who is this cranky dwarf over here. Matthew Wilter, who's a child. Now, I know I don't have you hauling dead bodies, so why are you so cranky? What's your personality like? He has a great ability to focus, but he has a very bad intuition and lousy creativity. I personally see sacrifice as wasteful and foolish and finds that those that develop skill with weapons and fighting distasteful. We should put you in the military just for spite. He dreams of mastering a skill. Overall, he's quite focused with satisfied need. But yeah, you are upset. Wait, you suffered a major injury. No health problems. Quick to heal. Did you suffer a major industry, but you're fine now? You're remembering dining in a good dining room. It's only good. We clearly have to get that up to a legendary dining room. Well, we haven't done any engravings yet. Oh, we should double check if the new migrant wave might have gotten an engraver. If not, we might just have to pick someone and get them to start training up. Again, practicing on the bedrooms like we talked about. So presumably you got injured at some point. There is... There you go. There's new combat history. Yeah, you got attacked. You got scratched. Bruising the muscle, bruising the right lung. So you're you're better now. You're better now, but you did have an encounter with a with a wild animal, and it's it's stuck with you. Well, that's unfortunate. Check our laborers over here for engravers. No, indeed, we do not. Well, we might just pick Claw here. Again, Fisher Dwarf is not really, you know, we don't really do fishing in most of my fortresses, so I might not care about that. The fact that it's his highest ranked profession says he doesn't really have anything else that I mean, there may be other things going on. It's possible that he's like a super skilled fisher dwarf and he's also pretty good at something else, but it seems unlikely, but I guess we'll take a quick look here. For claw. All right, and uh, skills, adequate stone cutter. Yeah, so not a whole lot going on right now. We might go and make you into an engraver. We gotta pick someone. All right, let's do that. And we're going to put you on a full-time engraving job. Keep you nice and busy. And we're going to start by engraving all these bedrooms. So let's go and do that. Uh, engraving. And... I'll tell you this. I was going to say, I don't think it'll do it where we're mining, but that's okay. So, you're not going to have much skill. You'll be slow. Your engravings are going to be kind of poor. I mean, what are your what's your personality like? No musical ability. I mean, nothing uh, that... Oh, i got to remember the freaking farmer's guild. Nothing that really indicates one way or another necessarily if you'd be a great artist, but we'll see. Temple and a priest. The doctrines of sinking. Let me make a quick little note. Doctrines of sinking. Okay. Yeah, we got to get our butt started on that. Um, Go. This is... So first, this is our guild halls. So let's put some doers there. Make a zone, meeting area uh, for this area here, including all the walls and the doors. Except, I mean, I know the zone's a little awkwardly shaped, but that's fine. So this is a new guild hall. We needed our farmer's guild. Oh, I can search for this. When it's tight established. That's really handy. The farmer's hall, 14 members indeed. So we'll get them there. Now, it's not a particularly fancy one, to build the guild hall we need at least two thousand bucks as soon as they get any furnishings or anything like that or smooth it's going to be okay um so yeah okay i'm not going to go and bother setting up the hospital guild like the doctor's guild and hospital yet because we were going to have some other things to prioritize uh i can't delay this temple any longer and yet i think i kind of like the idea it's going to be an odd number that was 19. Let's see. From here. Okay. Oh. oh, no, that was one too far. This is going to be a generic temple. 
and then we'll have um branching off from this hallways leading to more specific temples i think i'm gonna leave it like this sort of chunky squarey things and then yeah the idea will be probably a little door here that leads to a hallway you know on all four sides and then links to things okay top priority yes indeed And I think we have to wait for this to be dug out before I can zone it properly, because I think otherwise, yeah, it won't include everything. So we don't have any we don't have any requests for any specific temples yet. So hopefully people will be able to fulfill their religious needs here, at least in a in a basic way. Need seeds, need seeds, that's fine. Food, drinks looking okay. Of course we did just buy a bunch of uh, a bunch of meat and stuff from these guys. Um, right, we need to issue a smooth command. And I don't know if there's anything else set to smooth. Yeah, we're going to do number one priority over here, including the outside walls. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. Smooth this out as quickly as possible. Farmer's Guild Hall. I think that means we should have a bunch of desks in rows. That'll look like, um, what do you call those? You plow... I want to say something like furrows. I don't know if that's the right word. Might just be misusing a completely unrelated word. But I feel like that's the vibe we're going to want for this. I'll let the smoothing finish and then we'll order some furniture. Okay, here we're in a new new meeting area. Select this whole spot here. Accept, create, new temple of no specific deity. The eerie side? Every name. Yes. The... Is universal a thing? No. How do we say... Oh, there's godly in there. The holy... The holy side. Actually, I kind of like the holy side. I was, I was going to switch both words. But no. All right. The holy side. This is going to be the universal temple. Boom. We'll smooth that out afterwards, but I'm going to prioritize this guild hall because, again, they're looking for a particular quality, and we are kind of on a clock here because uh, it was the start of the last episode where they put in requests. I don't remember how long we've got to satisfy it. That's getting in there. We've got lots of dwarves available for smoothing. We've got two unhappy people. Oh, man. How many people got into a fight? I think we're waiting for dwarves to be crafted probably have a few things in your queue because we've got all those bedrooms being done out as well um i don't we don't need the doors but i'm gonna go ahead and boost both of these to the front of the line just to make sure it gets done a little bit faster these doors i believe will count as part of the room i might not be right about that but i think so um let's assume like let's do a couple of tables at the top like almost um like a desk that the teacher can stand behind. And then we go right up against the wall. Sure. Now, these, you know, the furnishings in here don't necessarily get used. It's just about adding value. Do I want to... I think I do want to space these out. Hold on. I should use the uh, mass removal tool here, but... Um, let me put a gap, because the chair, gap, table. Chair, gap, table. Chair, gap, table, chair. Okay, that'll work out. And then, yeah, if anything lined up, it'd be okay. Furniture, table, there, there. And I'll probably do some more rows afterwards. But we're, we're still kind of busy right now. But yeah, I will get some more, because I think that'll complete the look I'm going for. But I'm going to start with those, and then we'll do the the inner ones a little bit more afterwards. Uh, I wonder, do we need more than one stone carver for the furniture? Hmm, I don't know. We could increase the target number for the furnishings as well, just to keep a few more banked to help in these situations, give us a bit more of a buffer before the jobs restart. No, that's fine. And we do want the nice bedroom, so I'm, I'm not complaining too much that this is happening. Uh, right, we got the engraving here to practice. 
Yeah, Dabbling Engraver. So it might take you a little while to get that skill. It would be really nice to have gotten an actual, um, you know, a little bit more value. They're coming in, though. Or we can... Well, I don't think there's any competition for tables and chairs in here. It's competition for... Man, why is this song so much louder than the others? It's a great... It's a banger, though. Uh, the competition is, like, these cabinets and coffers and stuff, but... I guess that's gonna have to be fine. I guess they could deconstruct some of the extra tables and chairs in here so that they can move down below. Or I could do some quick engraving in here, but it wouldn't be very high quality. So, yeah. All right, Kalat, we're counting on you. You're gonna be busy for a very long time. You look like such an old man. You're only 22. Stressful life, I guess. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, now. Leatherwork. Okay, nothing in the queue for the leatherworks now. I think what may have happened is more, or we may have gotten our leatherworks built before the clothier. And why are you having so many bad thoughts there, Aeronator? Easy, unable to pray. Grouchy quad. Right? Nah, you're fine. Um, I think maybe, yeah, we only had the leatherwork, so it queued up some clothing there, but then we've got the clothier, clothier it's going to do that, which is good, because I mostly want to use this for leather armor. Now, I can't remember, I've made notes before about what kind of outfits we kind of want. Now, there are, if we go into the orders, we could import in, like, this military order, which will queue up a bunch of armor and weapon jobs and things, uh, but it does add a bunch of things I don't particularly care about the same way. I mean, we can go and just delete them afterwards, but I think I'll probably go and add these manually. Smell thing is definitely happening, though. What are you doing cassette right now? Huh. And I kind of like we can keep an eye on the stock levels of various things. The tetrahedrite, cassetterite, uh, platinum will potentially all end up over here. Again, I could do individual little stockpiles for each one of those to make sure there's always something of that nearby, but that's fine. The important thing, I think, is the magnetite, because I think there's going to be a lot of it getting used. That's an old bin from the previous uh, previous setup that hasn't been moved yet. Why are you moving so slow now? Oh, because you're hauling copper bars. The copper bar is that heavy, really? Or Lilith, are you just a slow walker? I don't know. Um, okay, so let me... Do I have a note to myself um, for... What would I call this? Uh, ah, I do have an old note for myself. Perfect. Okay, detailing the equipment that I want for my military squads. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna put in an order first for the material. Uh, so I'm gonna want a leather hood, a uh, oh wait, that's when we start stacking multiple things. I got a couple of different designs. Uh, I guess no, that's fine. Um, I'll I'll make things that we're gonna use for later on as well. So oops. Leather tunic. Leather cloak. Uh, I guess we can keep leather gloves and things like that. Uh, leather trousers. Now, I could start with just that. Oh, leather robes. I got the... Tunic. I want both tunics and dresses and robes? I might be a little confused here. Whatever. You know what? We'll, we'll put them in. That's going to be fine. Um, robe, tunic, leather dress. Oh! Is that not a category? Oh, all right. Maybe this is not the right note file. Maybe this is an older one. But leather mitten. I think it made in pairs. So we're not worried about leather boots at this point. Well, all right, we'll cue those. That's going to be fine. We're going to do these jobs are going to be make one a day. We might, we might make some changes in a second. Um, and we're going to keep two around. I think that'll be the same for each one of these. Two cloaks. Now, a lot of these can be used for clothing. More than, even just more than the military. 
Uh, so you make two mittens at a time, but I think here we want to check for four. I think we want to check for two pairs because mittens are tracked individually. Same thing with like socks and things like that. But I think they're made in pairs, but they get tracked individually. So the target, we want to do that. Um, yeah. Okay. So clearly my, my, not my spreadsheet, but basically I use the, uh, the draft feature in my email to like keep notes around. Easiest way to put things in the cloud. I mean, sometimes I, I put it into my Google docs, but like probably three quarters of the time, it's just draft email to myself. And I'm not sure that these outfits are quite the correct one. I might want to take another look at things before I overly commit, but we're going to start our leather goods uh, industry. Now, I believe we need a leather worker because I've not assigned one, right? So let's do that. Leather. Is it under here? Leather working crafts done. And we don't have anyone. Oh, well, hold on. It may not be accurate. Click off, click back. Yeah, okay. Right, right. Mind over here, who's I think our legendary stone crafter. You're also such a good leather worker. But we've got Renewal here, whose leather worker skill is clearly their best skill. I think what we'll do is we'll tell Renewal to do this and do it exclusively. I think there's always going to be a lot of demand for leather goods. Um, Ani went and got started. Quill Tower, good name. Because until we had the labor set up, it would default to everyone can do this. So they will finish the first task and probably do something fairly low quality, but that's okay. And get that started and that's fine. Yeah, I think I'm going to take another gander over here. I don't think this is my ideal armor set. I got to check. I got to see about making a proper document because this, this is definitely something that I need to reference often. Dwarf. Yeah, I don't have that. Okay. That's probably something I'll work at. I'll, I'll check on between episodes and design exactly what I want for my leather armor uniform. Um, of course, we could look at what the default one is and use that as a baseline to start constructing things. But I don't think there's going to be anything wrong with starting with this. And because the thing is, even when we make our metal uniforms, a lot of what I queued up here, we actually want layered underneath our metal as well. Um, because you can you can actually fit quite a lot of things. There's different benefits to different things. At some point, these macaws will definitely get sold. I know it's macaws. I, I say macaques. Actually, people pronounce it both ways. I think people go out of their way to say macaw to like avoid having it sound weirdly dirty. But then I got confused with the birds, right? Maybe it's just a maybe it's just a quill pronunciation issue more than anything else. I think I'm going to go and extend some extra traps out here. Uh, not cages, traps. I'm not going to make that mistake again. For the 17th time. You can fool me 17 times. You can fool me 16 times, not 17 times. Saving game. Thank you. All right. Uh, oh, Autumn. So we're going to get a Dwarven Caravan. Now, we still don't have a Baron. So we still don't have... Um, we're not still not going to get wagons. It's possible we've traded enough. And I did gift a little bit. Um, it's possible at this point we might do Barony. I, I think the population's big enough. Is it 60 that we get a mare? Oh, Vergosin, Furnace Operator. Well, Furnace Operating is not a mutable skill. So, oh, Crafter or Workshop. Yeah, so we'll get a generic Stonecraft or Woodcraft or something like that. Okay. Sorry, which Workshop? Oh! I didn't realize I had another craft workshop over here. Okay. So you started already. You're not using the mug that was already sitting there. Logs, block, leather. Okay, not very exciting. Oh, we are getting some snatchers. Now, that message is because we got it spotted. Most likely getting spotted out here. And unless the child was wandering around outside, probably didn't go and get snatched. So we're, I think we're okay. Food and drinks is all right. I don't love that I don't have a ton of seeds, but of course, uh, I wonder if I should just change seed watch to keep more of them around. I guess I could check what what is our seed situation overall. One thing that's nice about Seed Watch is you can do this in status and you get your seed count. It's a lot faster, in my opinion, and clearer than going to the stocks. Okay, so these are the ones I have set. Those are the defaults of 50. Wait, hold on. No, no console. No, so this is the status here. 
You're telling me I don't have any plump helmet seeds. I guess we might have used them all to plant. And then again, because we're good on drinks, no one's brewing drinks. Because we are cooking meals out of meat, we're not eating raw plump helmets. So we're not getting seeds. I guess that's fine. Although I would really like some pigtail seeds. Is that really the situation? Hang on. I'll take a look at the earring in just a second. What happens if I look at this seed view? I do have three plump helmet spawns. Don't have any pigtail seeds, which I don't love. Huh. I don't love that. All right, what's our artifact here? Oop, wrong button. Etostilesh Virlud. Contain trusses the humble admiration. Okay. This is a chestnut earring. All craft warships are of the highest quality, encrusted with round shale cabochons and decorated with llama leather. Subject menaces with spikes of chestnut. Now, I did, at some point, ask for some pedestals to be made. They're probably not finished, but... I'm going to go and plop down a couple of clicks over here. No, they must be done, because there's no little clock icon. So, theoretically, there we go. These are platinum pedestals. Yeah, they are. So, we're going to use... Oh, yeah, we'll use the DF hack assign, which is going to be so much better. Filter for artifacts. Beautiful. So much nicer than the other interface. We're going to put uh, this chain here. Okay, we might put it in the prison. Make a very fancy prison for someone. Also, I think in like if we install the artifact, it can't be stolen. I think if we put it on a pedestal, it can be. I'll put, I'm going to put the earring on a pedestal. Maybe I won't put the chain on it because I don't want it to be stolen. Well, how's the skill gain? You're still just a dabbling engraver. Well, that's a real shame. That is some slow XP game, my friend. How are we doing over here? Oh, you still don't have the value. Oh, no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just throw some extra furniture in here. I mean, it doesn't help that it's possible that this furniture is not super fancy. I don't know how good. That's just a base. Oh, no, that's a decent table. Okay. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we didn't have hit the other target. I mean, you know, tables and chairs aren't the fanciest of all furniture in terms of adding value but i still expect a little bit more a little bit of engraving over here will set us over the top but yeah just adding a tiny bit of furniture they're gonna be okay temple here uh i don't think like there's no specific request for the quality of this temple but i'm gonna go and smooth it out anyway wait can i not change the priority after with mining you can that's weird let's say just priority four Smoothing is going to be okay. So yeah, make this catch-all temple a little bit prettier. Still not going to go out of my way because there's not going to be any specific requests. It could give good thoughts, of course. You know, pray in a legendary temple, I think, is, is one of the moods that they can get. But oh, About 2,000, not quite 2,000, hasn't satisfied, but yeah, it must just be on the cusp. A little bit more furniture gets made, and we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Over here, we're still working on a lot of these. Ooh, caravan has arrived. What I can do is I can encourage the um, the tables and thrones to be made a little faster. All right, let's go and move some trade goods over here. So again, I'm just going to search for finished and then select all those. Now, some of those bins will include our artifacts, which I mean, we could consider gifting them like the earring. That's something we could do. But no, I think we'll keep it on display. Locally, that's going to be okay. We should be able to make plenty of money selling our mugs. We might even gift some mugs. We'll see. Hello. There we go. Indeed, we can establish now. Um, Right. Oh, I can. Okay, pause. We. We could. Hmm. I don't know if there's an easy way to find this. The ideal noble or mayor or whoever is someone who doesn't have any preferences for anything constructed, because then I don't think they'll ever give us any crafting mandates. But that can be really tricky to sort of figure out. Like, if we take a look, Pyramid Bread is our current leader. So they clearly have social skills, so they might be a good candidate for a meeting, for example, right? If we look at preferences, 
So they would constantly ask us to make greaves, which isn't bad because we're going to make those for our military anyway. I don't know if they'd ask for barrels to be made. But they might ask for rings, which would be frustrating. But the issue is, like, I don't know, like, if there's a good way for us to quickly find someone who's who's easy that way. I'm sorry, do you want goblets? Now, if you ask for large gems to be made, I don't know if they would ask that. But goblets, those are mugs. Dar Sleepy, I'm going to nominate you. No, hold on. They might not want us to sell mugs. That would ruin our economy. Break it. You're going to just nominate yourself, Pyramid Bread. Oh, I'm sorry. This is new. DF Hack. Oh my god. DF Hack has a new screen to elevate, and it, it sorts based on item preferences. That's gorgeous. Okay. Well, maybe we just pick the person at the top. Richie over here. We've got mm, eight dwarves. Eight dwarves to pick with no item preferences. Uh, I mean, eventually if they become super royal, I don't remember if they if they stop working. So we could pick someone who's got like no useful skill. Like this person's best skill is beekeeper, which I don't particularly care about. We could put Oni. But you know, Richie's at the top of the list. Let's pick Richie. Oh, this is so convenient. Um, request. Again, I'm just, I think I'm just going to make the, oh, you know what? We will specifically request a bunch of seeds. Honestly, like, I was going to say all of them, but really just plump helmet spawns and pigtails. We're going to request those, and then under miscellaneous, we're going to select all those too. And again, there's lots of things we may end up, we're going to buy, but I don't necessarily need the markup. All right. Uh, we're waiting for some things. Merchants arriving and unloading. So... Yeah, we'll request the broker. So theoretically, the next caravan that arrives will be a baron. The next caravan that arrives should be able to bring wagons. I think that applies to the human as well. Or we're not yet the baron. We may have to wait for this caravan to return home for us to actually be elevated. But still, something like that. All right, just waiting for three more deliveries. Two more deliveries. Probably what's going on with this green fellow over here. Animosis. Yeah, moving very slowly because you're carrying a heavy bin. One more delivery, please. There we go. So let's trade. So I'm wondering, at this point, if I were to go on my side, not take the artifact, just search for mugs. If I were to mark everything on their side, they would still turn a profit. Maybe not enough to be cool with it, Let's leave out the stone. You know, we bought some extra rope recently. I don't think we care about puzzle boxes or toys. I'll hold off on these cages. Oh, I'm sorry, you have excess weight? That's, mm, that's a little annoying. Especially if we're not buying all their stuff. We could buy some of these weapons just so that we have some weapons to get started with. It's not a terrible idea. As long as they're not... I mean, we have the money. Well, the problem is here, we're not going to be able to send them this much stuff because of the weight cap. But then... I want to buy more stuff so they don't have... Hmm. Okay, this is going to be super awkward. I guess I really wish we were encrusting stuff right now. Because the problem is, if I want to take more of their stuff off their hands to lessen their load, we need to sell them more mugs, but the mugs have some weight. So the mugs have are way two units of weight. Call them two pounds each. They're rock mugs, it makes sense. A lot of stuff we're buying isn't that heavy. Uh, yeah, we're going to unmark all, unmark all. I'll take all your bars.
And yeah, with the weapons, I'm gonna have to trade them so much, so many mugs. Okay, we're gonna take all these barrels. Yeah, because I have to give them so much weight worth. Oh, man. Okay, let me pick what I think I might want here. I think we're, yeah, we're going to have to hold off on maybe this armor here and stuff, which is a shame because, yeah, it would have been nice to maybe accelerate things, but it's going to be okay. Um, these bags could have seeds, like the plump helmet spawn. Uh, yeah, we'll take the cave wheat. I don't know if we're planting any, but we can get started. Uh, plaster so that we can do casts. I'll take that. I would love to buy maybe all the bins. All the cloth and leather. Lots of food. Let's hold off on the cheese. I will take this. Take a crutch. Okay. I need 4,000 dwarf bucks worth of stuff. Come back over here. Go to Fort Goods. I mean, we could easily do it. And they, they're they good on a loud weight. Well, we're going to see what happens when we start feeding them mugs. Um. Okay. No, okay. We're good. Was I misinterpreting the allowed weight? Were we fine before? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay. And that turns it green, which I'm perfectly happy, especially with the dwarves to give them a really good deal. So we're going to trade. And then I'm going to gift them some more mugs. Although keeping an eye on their, their weight here. There. You know what? That's going to be fine. I think, you know what? I think I may have misread one of the numbers. Maybe we're fine in the first place, but we'll do this. So we're going to give them 1,500 dwarf bucks worth of mugs as a gift. Free gift with purchase. We're going to become the capital really soon. Maybe sooner than I want, actually. It should also ensure another big migrant wave or two. All right. You're happy now? Good. Okay. So we've got ourselves done there. Um, smoothing is nearly done. Okay. I'm going to order up some smoothing to be done on this hospital as well. And yeah, I know it's doing some extra tiles. It's fine. And then we'll start getting this kitted out. We, we kind of want a, um, a soap industry too. The hillocks of page ghost been found at half a day's travel to the southeast. Incorporate into your holdings. Nice. There we go. Officially a barony. Okay. And people, and we've got a mayor because, yeah, so mayor must happen to population 50. So now we've got a mayor as well. So both these people want some fancy offices. Um, the mayor might have some demands, which could be annoying, but, um, well, fancy offices and fancy living quarters, which... Do I do it as part of this floor? I think the answer is yes. I think I'm happy with that. And then where do we want to put it? Do we want to just put it at the end of these hallways? Or do we want to keep that open so that we can keep expanding our regular bedroom off to the side? In which case, maybe we put the fancy rooms behind the dining hall. We could put some more down here too. Maybe I kind of like that. But right now we need two fancy rooms. I think I'm going to put them both at the top. And then we'll plan on doing something kind of, again, maybe symmetrical on the bottom. Now, we could continue these hallways this way. That's conceivable. If we do that, it doesn't leave a tremendous amount of space. Oh, no, that's actually fine. Five by five areas. Big office, and then dining hall. Actually, unless we go... Unless we just go four by five for each one of those. I'd be plenty big for these offices, these spaces. Um, I don't mind that. Now that's probably not big enough for us to trim the corners off and give it kind of an interesting look. Oh. I want to be one tile lower than this. Heard that up. Do I want these rooms to be more interesting looking? I mean, I do. But I'm 
in this space, there's not really a lot of room to work with. But I mean, we could, I could try to be more creative, but that's, you know, that's not really what I do. Um, you know, what would also be kind of interesting is what if we took this six room layout and instead of making six different bedrooms for dwarves, we repurpose this into the suites for our nobles. That's something we haven't done before. What would that look like? Let's say I veered off a hallway off both these sides over here. Because I don't want this back set to be that. I mean, it could. We could put a door right there. But I think what I want to do, uh, let me just use the quick fort here. Uh, the dig. limit the amount of digging that could happen here. How much, hmm. How much ex extra excavation might we want to do? Is there not a lot of room for like, di well, that's, we could put, doesn't feel like a conventional dining room, but what we could do is put three tables and three chairs, three tables and three chairs. Yeah, have this entire area be a dining room and rather than the normal sort of what I do is like a, you know, a big long table that's all merged together in the middle. But that would work. And then the bedroom, you know, bed over here and the extra room for extra cabinets because they, they sometimes want some of that. The different the downside with this is it's not very spacious. And as a result, it might be hard to cram the value high enough as people get more and more demands. It'll be fine to start off with. Okay, here's an idea. What if we do mimic the shape of these rooms, but do it bigger? So instead of a two by three, what if we went three by four? Just do a scaled up version of exactly the same thing. Now, this is larger than we were planning before, but it is heckin' impressive. And we'll definitely scale up as people want more riches, uh, probably up until the point we get a king. Or a queen, I should say, a monarch. And then, yeah, this is still potential for some sort of hallway. Now, with this block, uh, what's the total width of this? Nine. So it'd be that much if we wanted to build it in the middle here. Which maybe, if we allowed for a double wall everywhere, or even if we morphed to a triple hallway. Hold on. Um, if I went and deleted this. Yeah, if we consider this. And then if we went and all of a sudden started doing a wider hallway again, because we're in a swankier area, that's kind of cool? Question mark? I think I'm, I think I kind of dig it. Oh, we could save this as a quick fort blueprint as well. Um, once, once one of these rooms is sort of set up here. Okay, let's do the let's do the middle one first. Yeah. Let me just block that, block that. So just this middle one's going to get dug out. Uh I don't remember if we still have exploratory tunnels going on. Let me do a priority 2. for some of this here. And yeah, I will save this as a blueprint because I kind of like the idea of the same layout, but instead of six individual bedrooms for dwarves, it's going to be a larger 
six room um, arrangement that gets used as a series of suites for things. We could even put little individual sub doors between things. We could have like, you know, two little separate private dining areas. The only downside is by not being an odd number in this direction, I can't put like a bed in the middle or a good spot for the office, but I guess it's still an odd number here. We could put like a, a desk chair, desk chair here. The idea of maybe you've got an assistant later on, which isn't the case, but it would be a way to add some extra details to the room. Oh okay, yeah, I think I'm fine with that. Let's unpause this and let it get started. I'm not worried about adding more like just mining stuff to the base because we've got our miners aren't doing anything critically important. But yeah, everyone's still very busy. Okay, we have a super cranky dwarf now. Slaying this dwarven child. Are you the one who got into the combat? You weren't. You weren't the one we were looking at before, but you also got attacked. The only bad memory you've got is this panic. Got nothing else being shown. You're s this. Is it really this one attack? This memory of this one attack. Everything else is great. Okay, what are you banning, Mayor? Export of shields prohibited. That's fine. That's fine. We're not we're not planning on selling shields. It shouldn't even happen accidentally. And of course, we do have filters set up to try to prevent that from being an issue. So I think we're going to be okay. okay. So we got a temple. Theoretically, people can start praying. The guild house, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll get this going on. We might need a second stone worker. I don't know. Uh, I don't think we've got another good stone carver furniture maker, so it wouldn't be very high quality. I don't know if the higher skill stone workers or the stone carvers, I should say, I don't know if they work faster or just, you know, just do more mast works. Man, we want the mast work, so oh, I guess we'll let it be. It will take a while to develop these bigger areas like that. Again, I could just add a larger target to keep around to give us a buffer to catch up here. Because if at any point the stone carver suddenly becomes idle, then that's going to be kind of unfortunate. But hopefully we're okay. All right, 56 pops. We still are currently just at 48 bedrooms equipped, um, which hopefully is fine. Again, some of our dwarves are doubling up because of marriages and families and stuff like that. And if need be, some of our dwarves can be in the dormitory. So I'm not going to stress about equipping these extra bedrooms quite yet, especially because our stone worker is so busy. Now, what I do want to do, I'm going to pause for a sec, is I'm gonna work out the furnishings for this area. So, doors. Want to inside a little bit? Now, the advantage of this is it will give it more space. So, we'll go and put doors in those areas. We could put some more doors and count, and count as internal. Maybe we'll do that. This will add extra furniture to the place, which is value in a way that I think looks kind of nice. I don't think I can flag these now. So once they get built, we'll flag those internal. Ooh, I don't know if that gets carried over to the blueprint, though. No, probably not. Ah, that's an interesting thing. I mean, I still have to go and make the rooms after, but then when I... I guess we don't spam out that many noble rooms. As long as I remember to set these internal, it's going to be okay. All right, so we'll do that, and then... This will be the bed chamber over here. And we know they're going to want some some cabinets. Uh, they'll want more and more as they go up in rank. And I might just pre-place a bunch of cabinets just to be ready for that. I don't know how much they want in any particular level, but I'm going to go and put four cabinets in there. And on the other side, that'll be kind of our, our personal storage. We'll put a bunch of chests because they're going to want that as well. And then... Yeah, we'll do... It's a little bit funky because it's not one long table. But... We're shaping things up from how I normally do things. So the dining room's there, and then we'll do the offices. And yeah, I'll do a pair because the idea is you have your assistant or something in the other one. Not that that's a mechanic that exists. And then usually they want, um, they'll want one and eventually two armor stands and weapon racks. I could plan two immediately. Let's do it. Armor stand. Okay, I think. That's every kind of demand they go looking for. And I guess uh, I'll also plan the smoothing for this. And then later on, engraving it if they need something to be fancier. 
and uh, we've got maybe the skill to support it. I mean, that's about doing the engravings now. They would all be on the inner wall as opposed to the outer hallway, but... So unfortunate that we have a cranky dwarf. We could go and... Oh, they're a child. I was going to say we could force them to emigrate, but they're probably here with their parents, possibly plural, um, and then they would also leave, potentially siblings as well. So that might not be ideal. So yeah, I wonder if I've got the blueprints down, if maybe I could go and, and copy the blueprint now. Uh, Dwarven merchants will be leaving soon. That's fine. We've dealt with that. Okay. Is that the new... Yeah, that's the new Hamlet right over here that's linked to us. How lovely. Still haven't built up a military, which is starting to feel kind of scary. But I think, I think we're going to bring our episode to an end here. This is going to be a chance to double check the armor configurations that I want and maybe make myself a proper note uh, going forward. And then, yeah, we're going to go and get ourselves militarized. I think I'm going to make a 10 person squad and yeah, we'll probably go and do a range squad to start off with. But I'm curious if I do this, if I go blueprint, um, we're going to name this to the, I mean, it's like the, is it the, we call this what, the two by three noble suites? Suite singular? Uh, I guess you don't have to capture the smoothing or anything. Okay. And then just to check, if I go and check my quick fort, there, the dig and then the build, and the build did copy the furniture over, cool. Again, we'll have to set doors to internal and stuff later on, but it'll make my life a little bit easier when it comes to developing these other bedrooms. And then we have the blueprint for future runs because this feels kind of fun. All right, we'll go put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.